Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Sue Omani, and this is your 2021 Energy Forecast Overview Series. So in this episode, I will talk about period nine and what kind of trends and themes that we will be having in the next two decades, as well as taking a look from a macro point of view to understand what kind of time are we in when we are taking a look from a 180 year cycle. So before we dive right in, I want to show you my set. Take a look here, can you see new identity? So in the new decade, of course, we're going to embrace a new identity so that we can show the best version of what we can be in a world of changing times. So let's dive right in. We all know that we are currently in a transitional times and it's not just about the pre and post pandemic times. It's also about a much larger cycle. Right now, 2021, we are in period eight. So in theory, we will be transitioning from period eight, which is a 20 year cycle into period nine on in the year of 2024. So still three years from now, in theory. So each period from period one, period two, period three, period four, period five, period six, period seven, period eight, period nine, each period contains two decades, 20 years. And each two decades, there's a theme, there's a key theme that signifies that two decades. And then when we combine all nine, two decades together, we will get a 180 year cycle. So this is how we see it from the Chinese metaphysics perspective that we see history always repeats itself every 180 years. And then within that 180 years, every 20 years, there will be a phase or a major theme for that cycle. For example, in period one, usually it would represent something that is growing, that is uprising, that is the beginning in a budding period of a certain style of um, economy. It could be political system. It could be technology developments, things like that. And at the end of each big cycle and small cycle, there will be disruption, there will be pivots, that will be a collapse of certain things for it will involve a collapse of certain things and the growing of something new. So you see, we are falling right between the second last period transitioning to the final period of this 180 year cycle and 20 years later this cycle will end and we will come back to start another new 100 year cycle and start period one again so within a smaller 20 year cycle we are in transition time as well as we are in the ending phase of a much larger cycle. But don't let that, but don't let that scare you because, but don't let that scare you because history always repeat itself. However, it might not show up exactly in the same way. So what are the key themes for period eight, which last from 2002 to 2023. Well, it represents mountains, the earth element, the northeast direction, real essay, real estate, young men, slow progress, one step at a time, hierarchy, 
material accumulation, the focus will be on finance, on economy, and these will become popular subjects in the university. So basically what describe period eight is the focus on asset and wealth accumulation, full, slow progress, hard work, and to climb up the career ladder one step at a time. So that's what signifies period eight in simple terms. And then in period nine, which officially will start from 2024 and ends at and ends in 2043, it represents fire energy. Self. It represents fire energy, the self direction, middle aged women, new thoughts as in isms, short bursts of uprising of people uprising fighting for their rights fears but um, in short verses that that kind of uprising will come and go because fire doesn't last long right so it also represents something that is fake that is not touchable that is virtual it could also represent escapism um, literature imagination and arts. So the popular subjects in the university in period nine could be medicine, could be literature and arts and entertainment and engineering. So where are we now? So where are we now? Is it too early for us to talk about period nine? Because supposedly it's only arrived in 2024. Well, because 2020 has been such a groundbreaking year that it's so different and forced us to change so many perspectives in life and our expectation of the society. A lot of astrologers has come to agreement that the period line has already arrived. Because you see the chart right here, because as you see in ancient Chinese metaphysic books, it is said that we are having 180 year cycle and within each cycle, there will be nine periods of time. For each period of time, there will be two decades. And these numbers are approximate numbers. So in, in Chinese metaphysics, those grander timeline thing they do not put a very precise calculation on exactly how many years for each period of time. So there could be a high chance that over hundreds of years without the um, calculation of the leap years or leap months, very probably the calculation of this grand scheme of cycle could have a gap of calculation. So there actually could be high chance that might be right now we are already at the beginning of period nine, or at least we are going to end the period nine sooner than 2024. Maybe next year is already the beginning. We never know because these are estimates. And this point of view actually aligns with that of Western astrology, where they say we have just entered the age of Aquarius. Aquarius represent electricity. So the period nine is signified by the fire energy. Electricity is fire, right? So these feel perfectly aligned with each other. So that's why a lot of astrologers would agree on that we are already on the edge of the transition to the period night and that's why this is important for you to get a feel on what the next two decades for the next two decades will become and so if we are entering the final two decades of a 180 year cycle what could we expect of course, we will expect some kind of breakdown of large systems. 
whether it's economic system, political system, religious system, education system, or society's operation system, or intellectually, how our technology is going to help us or lead us into a way that we cannot imagine for those who are uh, say decades ago in the earlier period within this current 180 years ago. So we expect some kind of breakdown of existing large system in the next two decades so that we can get our space ready for the new 180 years cycle to come. So to help you understand what the next 20 years would be like, here I will share with you several keywords that could really signify the essence of current night. Number one, fire. So fire energy could literally mean fire. So fire as in the fire in the forest, fire as in firearms, fire as in um, volcanoes, rockets, explosion, bloodshed, wars at worst. It could also mean um, transportation accident like plane crash. I mean, we're talking about a 20 year trend. So of course these accidents could happen besides wars, okay? But it probably could happen when you have so much fire energy. So it could also involve kitchen appliance, um, wine, energy, electricity. So any industry that would involve the use of fire, of energy, you will do really well in the next, two, in the next 20 years. Also, if you were born with a lot of fire energy in the next few decades, you could do well. So how do we know if you have a lot of fire energy? Well, if you were born in the summer, usually you carry more fire energy. Or if you were born in a horse year, a snake year or goat year, you also have more fire energy and you would naturally become the need and you will naturally become the leaders in the next two decades. The second keyword is space. So it could mean literally the space, the outer space, um, the discovery of ET or um, advanced technology related to the outer space, satellites, um, cloud-based technology, rockets, 5G or 6G, um, things that involve much less physical contact, everything that is remote, which also means emptiness. Space could also mean emptiness. So, so very probably with the change of human habits of social connection, the event and meeting industry would not be the same as we've just had right now. So unless this industry is going to change how it operates in terms of events, meetings, conferences, this might not last very long in terms of the industry because people's expectation and their habits of connecting could be very different in the next two decades. The third keyword is eyes. So fire also represents our eyes because of the screen, everything require our eyes to pay attention to, right? So our, the health of our eyes become so important. So if you are a doctor who take care of the eyes or you are selling supplements who improve people's eyes well-being, this would be products that would have high demand and become very popular. Also, this is an era of neural creative virtual new world. You see, when we uh, say wearing a virtual reality glasses, everything that appears on the glasses would be reflected into our eye and what we see become a reality. 
our human brain can be so easily tricked into believing what we see. Usually what we see, we believe, right? So whatever can trick our eyes, it could trick our brains. The next keyword is heart, which can also literally mean our heart as an organ. So fight energy represents heart. So there could be a rise in terms of um, heart disease, um, blood vein related health issues. And besides, heart could also mean spirituality and psychology. That is there's a saying that home is where the heart is. So in period nine, people will have a lot more focus on the inner world. Period eight, people will focus on their external wealth and asset accumulation. But in period nine, people will come back and focus inward. What makes us happy? What makes our heart sing? So, um, psychology, spirituality, um, metaphysics, religion, these kind of stuff will become mainstream and people would go for whatever that makes them feel happy, to make them feel they are connected to the inner world. So there's no more need for people like us like spiritual workers or like so there will be no more need for so there will be no more need for people like us to come out of the woo woo closet because because as this idea is coming mainstream so there will be no more need for people like us to kind of come out of the woo-woo closet anymore because in period nine, everybody will know a bit of metaphysics or spirituality ideas of how to raise the vibe. They, a majority of the people will understand that. So it's a good sign, right? Especially for us who are working really, really hard to help people understand the energy world. The next keyword is the non-physical world. So VR, AR, game simulation, this kind of thing could effectively replace our in-person contact. Also, in terms of um, non-physical world, it could be the technological side, it could also be the spiritual side. So spirituality as in energy or shamanic, traveling this kind of stuff could become mainstream as i already mentioned in the last keyword it could also involve it could also involve a, some kind of connection or communication with the outer space it, it could also involve it could also involve our communication or connection with the outer space or living species with the outer space and a lot more science and technology will prove that our dream world is as real as our working life. In fact, in the next two decades, it will be very, very difficult for you to differentiate whether you are inside a dream or in reality. And also, telepathy and psychic development will become much more popular. So if right now you are developing your own psychic skills and telepathy ability, I will advise you on that beside growing and strengthening your own psychic ability, think about how you're going to teach this to others, to kids, to adults like you are teaching them abcs or teaching map skills basic map skills because how you're going to strengthen your own psychic ability is very different than teaching it so in the next two decades these kind of psychic and telepathy skills will become so much popular that the demand of learning will be very high 
but the teacher who are qualified to teach these skills in a safe way will be very few. So I would advise you to to pick up on that earlier so that you could become qualified as a teacher. And for qualification, I'm not talking about um, proper proper certification by a school. I'm talking about knowing how to manage your own psychic ability safely. I know that there are a lot of spiritual workers who have some kind of psychic ability that they cannot fully control, which could go into the wrong way when that gets out of control. So safety is very, very important when someone is developing one's psychic ability. So remember as so as so remember even if you are a psychic, don't overdevelop your upper chakras. Make sure you ground yourself enough so that you have solid foundation in the physical world, in the material world, in your physical body um, while you are developing those psychic abilities. This is very, very important for, to protect yourself as well as those around you and the students that you are going to teach. The next keyword is middle aged women. So that could cover a wide range of age group, but normally we are talking about those who would fall between 30 something to 50 something within the next two decades. So sisters is our time. Okay, let's take the stage and lead the world. It also represents the rise of the feminine, the divine feminine energy, the feminine power, um, the mother nature, and the related culture. Maybe the return of the modern witches. Yeah, I'm so excited for period night just because of this, because it's our time finally. The next keywords is of course electricity. So 5G, um, everything related to electronics, um, Wi-Fi, and maybe in the next 20 years, we are going to have a new way to connect to the internet. And we could of course expect that electronics will play a really major role in our everyday life, way more than we currently have. Electricity could also represent our entertainment industry. So movie, opera, stage performance, this kind of industry could do really, really well. The next keyword is separation. So we would expect the building of walls between countries, between groups, between religions between uh, maybe ethics as well. So people will form groups and then they will grow further and further away. And we expect that globalization will not be the trend anymore. Instead, localization will be more in the trend. It also represents the gap which could be the gap between the wealthy and the poor or the gap between the educated or less educated or, or the gap between those who are living a very rural life versus those who are living in the modern city which they involve with electronics in every part of their life which also means for them to be able to understand each other from the standpoint of the opposite side would become much difficult. It could also mean the divorce rate could rise even higher because people will focus more on their individual rights. So although we would say that history always repeats itself, but the universe is so creative that usually it would not manifest the exact same event time over and over. So it could also feel like as human. So for us as humans, so for us as human, 
in our human evolution journey, it could feel like we are in 180 year cycle and each cycle carries certain themes when we are on the left side or on the right side. However, every time around we are rising higher and higher because of our consciousness. So what kind of events that will be unfolded this time around in period line would highly depends on how much awakened we are to our human consciousness collectively as we are going up this human evolution spiral as we are coming back to our 180 year cycle around and around and then continue to go up like that. And that's how we understand how evolution works for humanity. So what do you think? Do you think humanity is more enlightened this time around? Or we will repeat the exact same events 180 years ago? Okay, so I've talked a lot about trends and keywords for the next two decades. And what does that mean for you? Well, it, those keywords could really help you if you are in business and planning to do the long game so that you could incorporate those elements in your long-term business. Or, or in your personal life, it's really, really important for you to follow your heart because period nine is all about a heart. It's all about our inner world. It's all about our connection to our inner wisdom, to find peace, to find love, to find our self-worth. It's all about inside. So follow your heart as well as incorporating those keywords and trends in your long-term business would be one of the best usage you can have with the information that I've shared with you about. And because we are entering period nine, which is the ending period of a large cycle, we expect a lot of collapse, a lot of decomposition of what doesn't work in the world. And in that process, there's a lot of things that could shake us up, that could make us feel we are kind of out, which could also make us feel we are kind of out of control. So the best advice for us all is to don't think too long time, just focus on the present, focus on the now, because now is all we have. Really, what we see, we believe. Focus on the now, focus on what you see, focus on what you give your attention to would determine your success and happiness in the next two decades. And in a collective sense, because period nine represents fire energy and when fire energy gets overwhelmed and over control, it could do harm. So this is an I Ching triagram, which represents the balance of water and fire energy and to find the common ground. Even between water and fire, they can find a common ground. So with that infusion of energy, we invite water to bring us calmness and intelligence. So in the next two decades, we could expect that people could get angry or irritated very, very easily because of the fire energy and how it do to our emotional well-being. And to balance that out, we have to embrace more of the water energy, be water. How do we be water? We become more flexible. We become formless, shapeless, and the flexibility to move everywhere, to encompass everyone, every ideas, and to be inclusive, to have the intelligence, to know which to focus on. These are all water energies and the inner peace and calmness of what water can bring. So we all need some more 
water qualities for us in the next few decades to balance out our overly stimulated and edified energy. And that's what this trigram of I Ching is going to tell us. In Chinese, it's called Sui Bo Gei Zai, which means the peaceful interaction between water and fire. So if you like, you can print this out or you can draw that to and put it in front of your desk to remind yourself that the peaceful communication between water energy and fire energy will bring success and peace and happiness to you, to your home, to your family, and to your businesses. So that's my two cents on what the next two decades could be like. And now I invite you to make your own prediction. What do you think the next two decades will be like? Share with me below and tell me what you think. Coming next, if you are my paid Patreon supporters, you will get a new episode where I'll explain what your personal beam would be for 2021 and what you can do with it. So stay tuned and I will be releasing this episode very soon. Bye for now.